in problem number 43 of section 2.7, we're going to use implicit differentiation to find the derivative of y with respect to x of y squared equals cosine of xy. Now remember with implicit differentiation, we just take the derivative of both sides with respect to x, and we assume that, uh, y, that um, y is actually a function of x, at least in some, some small neighborhood of the area x that we're, of the point x that we're looking at. So take the derivative of both sides, keeping in mind, again, that y is a function of x. We find that, um, first apply the uh, chain rule and the product rule, uh, to the left-hand side, so we have 2y, bring down the power. Now since y is a function of x, we need to use the chain rule and multiply by the derivative, so dy dx. Now this will be equal to uh, cosine, or the derivative of cosine of xy with respect to x. So this will be minus sine of xy. And now we need to multiply by the derivative of the inside, which is a product of two functions, uh, the function x and the function y. So first off, we will multiply by the derivative, or we'll take the derivative of x, which is just 1, and multiply by dy dx. Or excuse me, multiply by y. And in the second term, we will uh, take x and now multiply it by dy dx. So now we'll simplify this out and move everything that has a dy dx in each term that has a dy dx to the left-hand side of the equation. So that leaves us with 2y times dy dx. Now, in the second term here, if we multiply through, we're going to get minus x sine of xy times dy dx. If we move that over to the left-hand side, that'll be plus x, plus x sine of xy dy dx. And on the right-hand side, that leaves us with negative y times sine of xy. Now the next step is to factor out dy dx on, um, out of the left hand side since it's in every term. So dy dx times uh, 2y plus x sine y. x sine of xy, excuse me, is equal to minus y sine of xy. Now to find dy dx, we simply divide, uh, uh, divide the left hand, or both sides by 2y plus x sine of xy. So get rid of it on this side, and on the right hand side, we're left with negative y sine of xy over 2y plus x sine of xy. Which then is the derivative of y with respect to x.